Welcome fans to RamblingRec.com as we have the October installment of the Michelle Joseph Coaches Show. Coach, the leaves are starting to turn. It's fall. It's basketball season. How has practice been so far? Well, we're really excited about how we started out this season. Um, the fact that we've had so many players returning with NCAA experience, uh, nine and four new freshmen have just done a tremendous job early on picking up our system and I really just think the work that we did in the preseason getting ready for practice to start has really paid off for us early on. Mm. I saw your team practicing in the brand new Zelnac Center. I mean what an amazing facility. It's open now, it's running. How's it feel to be in there? It's a great teaching environment with so many baskets and so much space. It's just been a tremendous advantage for us as far as having the opportunity to either be in the AMC on the main floor or have this beautiful new uh, building in the Zelnick Center. Also, the, having the weight room right there with us and a video room, it's just it's a tremendous asset. And um, I think our players have really enjoyed the opportunity to be a part of that, especially when we opened up our first practice, we opened up in the Zelnick Center. So that was a great start for a new year. Very exciting. And special thanks to Steve and Judy Zelnick for all they have done in their family family helping us to open that practice facility, but also Tommy Harrington and Gay Constructions, which has been very instrumental as well. It's great to have that support. Now, Coach, ACC Media Day was a big day for you, the best coaches in the ACC, the best players in the ACC, and the media, women's basketball tip-off. How did that go for you and your team? I thought it was a great experience. Deja Foster and Sasha Goodlett just did a tremendous job. And the opportunity to see them in front of the camera, in front of the media, in front of television, radio, newspaper, print, and the way they handled themselves, I was just so proud. It made me realize that our program is much bigger than basketball. And the things that these young people are, do outside of basketball, outside of the lines, is amazing. And, I, and just their growth and maturity over the past two years was, was, a, was I was very proud um, to watch them interact with the media and represent our program. Um, obviously, you know they, the ACC picked us to finish uh, in seventh in the in the conference this year, which was a little mind-boggling for me. But um, I'm excited nonetheless. I think that if I needed any help motivating our team, that was motivation in itself. Well, I know it was a big day for the ACC and big day for Georgia Tech women's basketball, as you well represented Georgia Tech. So moving right along, Coach, as the season goes on, people are wondering a lot about the coaching staff. We've got a little bit of a different mix now. Talk a little bit about the new addition, Octavia Blue, and what she brings to the team. Well, we're very fortunate to have someone like Octavia Blue at Georgia Tech. Octavia is an ACC legend. Uh, she's in the Miami Hall of Fame. She played professional basketball for 10 years. She brings a wealth of knowledge on the court to our players. And I can just see at practice when she talks that our players have tremendous respect for the things she has to say. And, and I've really enjoyed having her around. Even though she's low-key, she's intense in everything she does. And just to have that size as a post coach, I think, is, is a tremendous asset to our young post players. Well, we are looking forward to watching Octavia and all that she has to offer to the team this season. And I know that Octavia Blue was out at the three-day walk for breast cancer, which was this past weekend. And, Coach, I know that's a cause that your team has supported throughout your time here at Georgia Tech, and it's something that's very near and dear to you. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we talk to our players about is the total person, and not just the basketball player, not just their, their academic pursuit, but also what are they doing outside of those two things to become a well-rounded young, young woman. And one of the things I was really proud of was this Sunday. We practiced for three hours. It was a very difficult practice. And right after practice ended, they showered, changed, and went right over to Piedmont Park and, and waited for the, the fin at the finish line for the three-day walkers that had been walking for breast cancer to raise funds for breast cancer research. So it was just a, it was a tremendous... Um, day for our players because I, I think that one of the things we've talked to them about is making sure we give back because we've been given so much and the fact that they were able to do that that made their day a six-hour day um, with community service and practice on on a Sunday so it was just a it was great to see and how willing and excited they were to you know jump on board and get over there and be a part of it well I know it's important to you to cultivate that community and family feel and speaking of family fans we hope that you will come out in the numbers for the season opener for Georgia Tech women's basketball it's here there's been a lot of anticipation it's Friday November 13th 7 p.m. against Winthrop coach the preseason WNIT which is a great honor for you and your team what can we expect to see on the floor well I'm excited because I feel like we this even though our system's going to be the same there's gonna be a lot of new faces a lot of new people playing different positions and I think we're going to have a whole new personality as a team. So I really encourage our fans to come out and take a look at the jackets and see what we're going to be like early on in the season and help us advance in the WNIT. You know, we, we, when we beat Winthrop, we'll have the opportunity to travel, hopefully, and, and play against Oklahoma State, which is a, a tremendous team in the Big 12 Conference. And, you know, we're, we're bidding to host uh, the third round and, and advance in the WNIT and hopefully play
play for a championship. So I just want to ask all of our fans and alumni and, and supporters to come out and uh, take a look at the, the women's basketball team as we tip off November 13th against Winthrop. There it is, fans. You can go to www.ramblingwreck.com backslash WBBTix today to get your women's basketball season tickets. Coach, thank you so much for thank joining you, us. China. We'll be back in November, mm -hmm. and we'll have an early look at the team then and see what it's going, how things are going so far in the season. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.